Lesson four of the unit supports students to dive into two simulations to investigate how different mitigation strategies affect the spread of the COVID-19 virus in communities. Students and teachers in the field tests reported loving how the simulations could be used to help them investigate their own questions. First, students run the basic simulation without mitigation strategies and then compare their results as a class. This leads to discussions around the various results from the simulation and why we need to carry out multiple runs to see the general patterns in the data. Next, students run the simulation to explore how different mitigation strategies in schools like attending in person, hybrid or virtual, and masks or no masks affect the spread of the virus. Students then make evidence-based arguments based on the results of their investigations, which in this part of the lesson are limited to the spread of the virus in schools. But students' questions about this phenomena are also about the dynamics of the virus in the broader community. This motivates shifting to using a more complex model. In the spread across a community simulation model, students can investigate the impact of vaccination, masking, and social distancing policies in workplaces and shops and adult behaviors for recreation places in combination with school policies. Students work with a partner to choose what question they want to investigate and plan and carry out their investigation using this simulation. Again, students use the outcomes of their explorations to make evidence-based arguments to answer questions that they developed for this investigation. To wrap up the lesson, students revisit their transmission models from lesson two and update them to include what they now know about the spread of a virus in a community. Students also revisit the driving question board to check off which of their questions have been answered and to add any new questions to the board. In lesson five, students use simulation data and compare it to the data from real communities. The data from the communities is from March 2021 when the unit was released. You can update this community data and the timelines for the locations using COVID Act Now found online at www.covidactnow.org. You can also use local COVID restrictions and updates websites. Students construct a timeline on the simulation graph and the graphs for each of the three locations we explored in the anchor lesson using a timeline of the restrictions put into place in each location. There are several identifiable patterns, both significant and subtle, in each graph. For this lesson, it is important for students to identify that the number of COVID-19 cases increased more quickly at first, then that growth slowed down at times, and then cases increased more quickly again. Using the restrictions timelines provided, students should be able to identify specifically that the number of new cases decreased when communities enacted mitigation strategies, such as social distancing, stay-at-home orders, and masking, to slow the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Students should also identify that when strategies were removed, the number of new cases increased again, leading communities to put these back in place. Finally, students should also identify patterns in the data provided around vaccination and its effect on case rates, although updating the data will, be, will help as the cases and variants continue to play out in the pandemic. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to combine their findings with those from Lesson 4 to argue that mitigation strategies are effective at helping communities decrease the number of people infected with the COVID-19 virus. In Lesson 6, this understanding will support students in analyzing why some communities are impacted more by the COVID-19 virus and in tying these increased infection rates to community members' inability to access and use the strategies we identified as effective. Later in the unit, students will leverage these understandings towards making suggestions for helping communities to slow the spread of the COVID-19 virus using the patterns they found in this data as evidence.